Hello everyone and welcome to my lesson for Deadhead by Tevin Townsend. Uh, the only thing you really need to know about this song before we get started is that it's in open C tuning which is low to high C, G, C, G, C, E and if you don't know how to tune that I would recommend just looking up a video on how to tune to open C. It's fairly easy. So uh, let's get started. So the introduction is basically a few repeating sections, but they all pretty much start the same way. And I'll show you how to do that first. I'll play through the part that I'm going to show you and then I'll break it down for you. So. So that didn't sound exactly right, but <laughs> anyway. What you're going to do is you're going to bar your index finger at the 12th fret pinky finger on the 15th fret of the D string and this is the picking pattern so E A E D A E then middle finger on or sorry ring finger on the 14th fret of the D string so this is what we got so far and then A E again and then just keep the 12 bar for the next part so I'll play it a little slowly so you can see but it's basically 15 on the D 14 on the D and then open or uh, sorry 12 on the D so it'll be like this slowly That's pretty much how um, all the sections to the intro begin. So we'll stick with that. Now after that part of the intro, he slides down from 12 to 8 on the low E. With your ring finger, you're going to go to 10 on the A and pinky on the 12 on the D and it goes like this like that and then uh, he slides from 12 to 14 on the D string so all together it's like this After that, on the recording, you'll hear a uh, pinch harmonic on the uh, 14th fret of the D. I'm not very good at doing them, but... So, if you can't do it, just the 14th alone. And then a short slide down. So, it'll be something like this. So then the second part of the intro starts the same way. Only this time he goes from 12 to 10, and it's going to be 10, 12, 14, like so. And then from when you get back down to the 10, slide down to 8 and keep the same uh, chord grip so it'll be 8, 10, 12 right? so again you go right? The next part starts the same way and then ends like the first part does Only this time there's a pinch harmonic and a half step bend. Again, I can't do the pinch harmonic very well, but if you can't, 
um, just hitting the note by itself will also sound good so don't be too concerned about it so it'll be pretty good one <laughs> but after that little half step bend it changes from uh, the beginning that we've done so far so instead of going that one uh, after that half step bend you want to go down to 7 10 12 might be a little bit of a stretch but it's not too bad so and this is uh, how it's going to look. So, 7, 10, 12. Ten, twelve. Slide to fourteen and pinch harmonic bend. Right? Then back to seven, ten, twelve. Then down to five, bar the fifth. Third, second, and then open. So hopefully that wasn't too complicated to follow. Uh, let me just try playing it again slow, and so you can see how they all tie together. you hit that open, um, uh, a live Tev Devon tends to hit harmonics back and forth, usually at the 5th and the 7th, um, but I think on the recording he just keeps hitting open and there's one part where he hits the 7th harmonic, but you don't hit it on the low E, you hit it on the A, so it'll sound like this. I think on the recording you can also hear that bent a little bit. This guitar doesn't have a whammy bar or um, any kind of tremolo bar. If you don't have one, you can sort of simulate it a little bit by hitting that harmonic and bending behind the nut. So I can't really do that very well either on this one because there's not very much room between the nut and the truss rod cover, but you get the idea. So, moving on to the verse. Actually, I guess this is technically still part of the intro. But uh, while he's letting that open, or all the open strings ring out, you'll hear him do a chuck like that. So just cover the string somewhere where there's no harmonic point, and mute them with your fingers. Rake down and up. No harmonics, like that. That's your cue to go from the third to the fifth on the low E slide, and then to the third on the A string. 
So. And that begins the first riff, which goes like this. I'll play it for you and then I'll break it down. So what we're going to do is hit the bottom two strings open, like that, one, two, three, and then with your middle and ring fingers, go to the third fret of the A and G strings, and try to mute all the rest of the strings, so it'll sound like this. And you'll go back and forth from open to those uh, fretted notes, like so. From there you're going to bar the 3rd fret, uh, low E and A with your 1st finger, ring finger on the 5th fret of the D, pinky finger on the 7th fret of the G, and you'll hit the low So you just try to hit the low the first couple of times and then strum the whole thing or just the high notes. So it'll sound like this. Like that. Now in between those you also get the... So just listen for that and uh, you'll know when to use it. And there's also a bend where... It's just a simple 5th fret bend on the low E, and then back to the verse riff. So that verse riff is pretty lengthy, you'll hear it through most of the song. But uh, you'll also hear, <clears throat> um, before you start singing, uh, there will be a section that will go like this. Basically, um, it's also in the verse when he starts singing because it's all in the heat of the moment. Uh, all you have to do is uh, bar, well I bar the, uh, the whole neck, but you can just bar the bottom three, um, but slide up to the fifth fret, and then down to the third. open, third, palm mute open, third to the fifth slide, and then it's just like the verse, only you don't strum it, you just let it ring out. Now, eventually the song will reach a point where there's like a really quiet breakdown and um, the best way to sort of get that, um, it's, it's not quite clean, it's a little bit dirty, but all you really have to do is just lower the volume on your guitar. And it will clean up, yet still remain a little bit dirty for that part. And this is what it's gonna sound like. pretty simple. Uh, you're basically just going to strum it very loosely. Don't worry about being too precise on this part. Um, you start on the <clears throat> eighth fret 
of the G string and let the uh, let the low open strings ring out first. Just like that and go from the uh, eighth to the seventh back and forth. Like I said, very loosely. Uh, the only thing you really need to remember about that part is to keep the top two strings muted. And other than that, just like I said, very loose strum and it'll sound right. And uh, as that part goes on, it will get more distorted. <clears throat> and you'll hear it go from Bar the fifth and keep the seventh and eighth going with your pinky and ring fingers. Now this is the really hard part. It goes down to the third. You can keep going on the seventh and eighth with your pinky finger back and forth like this. If you can stretch far enough, sometimes that's really difficult but I'm going to try it for you. So you'll hear him go from open with the 7th and 8th like that to the 5th, to the 3rd, back to the 5th. Um, just listen for it, you'll find out when he does each one. And then there's another breakdown riff that's basically just all palm mutes. And uh, it sort of goes like, I'll try to play it and then uh, I will show you what I did. <laughs> Sloppy as that was, um, I'll show you how to do it slow so that you can play it better than I can. So you want to start at the third fret, bar it with your index finger, start on the D string and chug down. Well actually, you let the D string ring open. So like that. Then to the 5th fret on the D with your ring, like that. Then to the 7th fret with your pinky, back to the 5th. In that pattern. Play that uh, twice, and then slide up to the 5th and repeat the same pattern. You know what I mean. Back down to the third, repeat the pattern again, and then it's just open. And it'll go back into the verse riff. That's pretty much all there is to the song, guys. At the end, you'll just hear... And that's it. So I hope this was helpful to you. I know I didn't play it the cleanest. <laughs> But hopefully you get the gist of it. And uh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy.